Hey everybody, Chris here from the MacMob.com. Today I'm going to show you a pretty simple uh, trick that's going to enable you to change your grayscale icons in the Finder uh, to colored icons. Uh, this is pretty similar to uh, what I did a few days ago in regards to the iTunes icons. Uh, we changed them into color. Uh, again, this is pretty uh, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Uh, there are a couple steps to it. Um, we will need to install a, an application actually that's going to allow this to happen and it's called Symbol. Uh, and like always, you'll be able to find all the links to uh, the downloads and, and to these pages uh, in the info section below the video here. Uh, we will also have a, a written tutorial over, at, over on the MacMob.com, uh, which there will be a link below. You'll be able to follow that if you need just to read stuff or, or uh, you copy and paste the links. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to install the symbol. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's a package install, so it's going to place the installation where it needs to go. And uh, basically, you don't have to worry about anything there. Um, you're going to want to go to the right of the screen here and uh, click click this uh, this link here to download it. It does say for Snow Leopard and Leopard. I have found that it does work in Lion, obviously. Um, I haven't found any problems with it. So go ahead and, and just download that. And what is going to happen for the sake of this video, I've actually downloaded it. So you're actually going to get a, uh, a zip file here. And go ahead and just open it up. And put a folder on your desktop or wherever, wherever you're going to have it on zip. And we'll just walk through the install. It does have an uninstaller as well. So just walk through that. And it's going to ask you for your credentials. So just put your admin credentials in. Awesome. So that's that. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to go and grab or download a plugin, and it's called Colorful Sidebar Symbol Plugin. And there will be a link down below uh, where you can get that at. I actually have I actually have the link in here uh, for the direct download, and we can go ahead and download that. I've actually I actually have it downloaded here so let me go ahead and unzip that and open up. Cool. So this is what you're going to want is the colorful sidebar dot bundle. And we're going to want to go to a directory here and it's going to be in you know to open your hard drive up. And go. So this is actually going to install the plugin for all users on your machine, not just you. Uh, if you wanted to install this just for you, you would actually put it in your um, in your home directory in the same location. So you go to library, application support, symbol, and plugins. And all you're going to have to do is drag and drop this into the plugins folder. And then get your terminal out and go ahead and just kill all Finder. It's just going to restart the Finder. And when it restarts, you'll have colored icons here. And I think they look a lot cooler. I mean, it's, it's definitely uh, a lot funner. Uh, at, like I said last time, it's, it has a little more, uh, um, you know, spruces up your desktop a little bit more. Uh, also, if you wanted to go back to the grayscale, it's very simple. You would actually just go back into, oh, let's see here. You'd actually go back into your Macintosh hard drive, library, application support, and back in the simple folder. Just drag and drop it out of there or delete it or whatever you're going to do. And then again, you could just run that kill all finder and your finder will come back up to grayscale. So again, uh, pretty simple tweak. Um, you know, we, we I will have the uh, URLs, the links below here, and then also we'll have the full written uh, post over at the macmob.com, which the link will be below. Uh, feel free to comment or ask questions um, if, you have any, if you have any questions. And follow us on Twitter at the macmob. 
and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.